Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review video on eight books, and they're all Christmas themed. Now, this is only half of the books I have. I actually have more books to do a review on, but I haven't read them yet because things have just been like so crazy right now, and I haven't had enough time. I got sick, and I had to take a break from reading, and all this stuff. So I'm going to start with the one that... It looks like it's really cheap, and I'll show you. Now, I read a book by this author before, and it was called Ten Drummers Drumming. And this is this sort of like the same thing. I got it because I really love the 12 Days of Christmas song. That's like my favorite song. That's the first song I learned, like, all the words to it. And this is called Eleven Pipers Piping. It's by M.C. Oh, no, it's by C.C. Benson. This is what it looks like. And the, the cover of it looks really cheap. And, like, it just looks like a, like, a arts and craft project. Like, it's just, it just looks really, really fake. Like, all of these guys look like they were just copy and pasted. They don't look anything different from each other. And this one was a book that it was about this man who, his name was father christmas and it was this preacher man who is trying to solve a mystery and it doesn't take place during christmas at all and i didn't realize that when i picked this book out i just thought okay it has this title of 12 days of christmas lyric it has to take place at christmas but only only thing that makes sense is that his name was father christmas and that was it and he's just like, he's just going through his life, and he's trying to figure out who did what to this poor man that happened at a get-together they had. And there was just a lot of stuff in it. The chapters were really long in this book, and it was just, like, there was a lot of stuff in it where I feel like the author could have got rid of some of the stuff he said to make the book shorter, because it was, like, the thing that happened to this man happened and then it seemed like they didn't really talk about it for like the middle of the book and then like the last five pa five chapters of it they started to bring it up again and stuff like that and it was just a really weird book that I really just didn't get into and I don't know why but that bo this book really wasn't great and that, like I said even like it just looks like a cheap book to be honest like I feel like nothing really went into the cover of the book it just looks like an afterthought so this one is the last one that I finished for the set book reviews and this one is a really cute little book it's by Wanda E. Brunstetter and she usually writes about Amish but this one was just about um a couple well not a couple yet these two um people who end up falling in love with each other in different ways and it takes place during World War II um, after it ended, and it's about how this woman ends up working for this man because, in this toy shop, because, um, with all the men coming back, she lost her job, and this is called Twice Love, that's the tight that's the name of the, of the toy store, I was, like, gonna say bookstore, but it's toy store, this is what it looks like, and there's only 130, pages to the story and then there's like 10 or 12 pages extra which is just um it just gives you like some more time recipes that they would have made during that time period and like I said it's about this woman who lost her job at this factory in Bethlehem Bethlehem Steel that's in Pennsylvania and she ends up losing it because she took the job while somebody was in the war and what happened is her husband died in the war so she's left with she doesn't have any money now she has her daughter to take care of now by herself because her husband died. And then the man that she ends up falling in love with, um, her, his wife died from leukemia. And it's just about how these two Christian people get together. And it's just a really cute Christmas story. And I really like it. I mean, I feel like it's just like a thing where, like, it's mostly how a lot of people are like we're like it's about not just about like okay like getting money and getting presents it's about 
being with people that you care about and that kind of thing. And it was just a cute little book. So this one is a Harlequin book. And this is called The Rancher's Christmas Promise. This is what it looks like. It's by Allison Lay. This is what it looks like. Lee. I don't know how to say her name. But it's about this man who finds out that his estranged wife died I think she died and she ends up um she had a baby during their estrangement and it turns out that this baby is his that he didn't know anything about so he ends up having to rate having to raise this baby and um his wife's family wants the baby back or something like that because of the fact that he's a rancher and he wants to you know just do his things his way and stuff like that and he feels like the only reason why this person wants it is because it belonged to his family and all this other stuff in here oh the lawyer who's taken apart in this for this other man's family ends up um, working for him in a certain way and they end up falling in love with each other. Now this one was just an okay book. It really wasn't that great but the next Harlequin book I have which is the Wyoming Christmas Surprise it's by Melissa Sennett and I think I read books by her before. Her name sounds familiar in the Harlequin world. And this is what it looks like. It's about this woman who her husband was working with the FBI on some kind of task force. And supposedly he died doing this task force thing. And all she wants now is he never knew about the babies. She has four babies, three boys, and a girl. And they um, need a father. And she can't do it on her own. So she decided, you know what, I'm just going to marry a man who I don't care if I have any ounce of relationship with him at all. I just want a father for my babies. And here what happens, um, it's a long story where um, her dead husband is actually alive. And it's like I said, it's a long story of why he's alive. And he ends up coming back into her life and they start working on the problems that they had before he died. And it's a thing where he wants to change to show her that he can handle being a dad and a police officer and all that stuff and still be okay. And she doesn't really think that she's like on the fence with him and stuff like that. Um, this one was another one of these books where the chapters were long in in the book, and I feel like they could have took a lot of stuff out of it. And this is called Mutts and Mistletoe. It's by Natalie Cox. This is what it looks like. And this book is about this woman who, she has not had the best of life. Her family is, like, discombobulated, and stuff. her mother is married to, like, this to her fifth husband she lives in new zealand her dad is a philosophy man her philosophy professor who is um somewhere else in the world for christmas and she is stuck in this little apartment where she doesn't have a man anymore because she broke up with him because she found out something about him that she didn't like and her apartment blows up and she ends up having to stay with her cousin who runs this kennel and she does not like dogs. So she doesn't like Christmas and she doesn't like dogs. And she ends up working for her cousin while she um, recuperates from what happened. And her cousin ends up leaving to go um, be with her lover who's like an arctic professor and she has to stay there and raise the dogs and it's just this crazy adventure she has around christmas and she's trying to embrace christmas again and that kind of thing and it's a really funny type of book especially with one of the things that happens in it 
and I really liked it. It wasn't it was a nice little story that I really liked. <sighs> Excuse me. This is actually I got this book because I like watching Hallmark movies. I'm not afraid to admit it. And this is from the Hallmark Publishing. And I don't know if they ever made this into a movie. I don't think they ever did. It never. It doesn't say on the cover that it was made into a movie or anything like that. And it's called Wrapped Up in Christmas, an uplifting small town romance from Hallmark Publishing. It's by Janice Lynn. This is what it looks like. It's about this man who ends up coming to the small town because he wants to thank this woman who made quilts. She, um, this woman was around the same age as him. And she made this quilt for this quilt of vulgar thing where quilts were shipped to overseas army people and stuff like that to like try to cheer them up and have like a piece of the home front instead of being in the war constantly aspect. And here, um, he never gets a chance to tell her this. Um, he ends up working at, for her at this bed and breakfast because she wants to have it opened. It was her aunt's house and her aunt's dream was to make it into a bed and breakfast. And he doesn't like Christmas. He has a lot of problems and so like that. And she's trying to inch him into telling her things and open up more and stuff like that. And it was a really good book. I mean, it was a hard, I mean, it was a Hallmark move, a Hallmark book. Like, I feel like it's like a step up from the Harlequin stuff. But I found this at a Walmart that isn't even close to my house. It's like a file far away. So you can't find these like in all Walmarts. At least mine does. The one near my house doesn't have this. So this this is a Meg Lang Laz Langslow Christmas mystery. It's by Donna Andrews, and she writes punny titles and all of her stuff she does. Like I read Duck the Halls. I think that was last year, or the year before that. There was another Six Geese of Slang. I read that one. This is another one, and it's called The Nightingale Before Christmas. And this is what it looks like. And it's about this woman who lives in a small town. Her name is Meg. And she ends up dealing with stuff that's going on for Christmas. And she's, yeah. And she's dealing with stuff that's happening in this house that she's helping remodel. I think it's for her mother or something. And something happens in the book. And she has to get this figured out before the house opens up to the public or something like that. And so she thinks it was this one guy that she let go from the project. And she's taking up on this offer of trying to figure out who did it. Um, this one... I just can't stop yawning, you guys. Like, I don't know why. I, like, took a nap before I did this video. This one is a two-in-one book. It's by Debbie Matcomer. And usually I do not like... I mean, I love Debbie Matcomer's books, but I do not usually like her two-in-one books because there's always a story in it that I do not like because it doesn't have a clear ending to it. Like, it's she never, like, wraps up everything. So this one is called Christmas Wishes, and the two stories in this book are called Christmas Letters and Rainy Day Kisses. And the first book, the first story, is about this woman who she's like a pharmaceutical transceptionist or something like that, where I don't know what exactly that is. I don't really didn't get it. But what happens is, is she ends up writing other people's Christmas letters. You know, like the Christmas letters you get from people when they send out their holiday cards, stuff like that. Because they can't figure out how to write them because of the stuff that happens in them. So she kind of lies a little bit in these books. And here she ends up um, getting into a relationship with the man who wrote this book that her sister uses for her children. And this woman does not like the concepts that this man is getting at. So she's trying to show him that what he's saying is not right. And that 
you should let the children have a childhood and not the way that he sees it. And the second one is actually about um, this woman. It's a it's a it's a prologue. This is the book she said in her like introduction where she rewrote the prologue and the epilogue and stuff like that. This one really doesn't really have a lot of Christmassy stuff in it. It's about this woman who works for her grandfather's or something. Her grandmother, grandma, her. <clears throat> relations her uncle or whatever um company and he's like this big ceo of this company and these this woman is trying to figure out why this woman got hired for this company and here she talks then she gets into the story of how she brought her uncle or something her relation together with this woman and it's a nice little story of how it happened and at first, when I first read it, when I got into the story, I'm like, okay, what does this character have to do with what this woman is talking about? And then I'm like, oh, now it makes sense. You know what I mean? And it's probably just because I just didn't like that story or something like that. I don't know what. But, um, or I didn't like the concept of it. I don't know. But... If you don't pay attention, then you won't realize when the woman is talking about the story of how her relative and this woman got together, you're going to miss, like, yeah. So, that was my Christmas Boogie video part one. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and have happy holidays if I don't do another Boogie You video until after Christmas because I don't know when I'm going to finish these next book books I have. So see you guys next time with another video, and I hope you guys have a happy holiday.